And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lord David, and this is Phoenix Point. Right then, where we last left it off then, we did recover some of the data from Symes' resort. You know, he's like a vacation home. Can't remember the full extent of what it told us, but he was kind of doing his own research into this virus thing. And I'm guessing we've got some more work to do from there. For now, though, uh, what have I done off camera? Okay, I leveled my guys up off camera as well. And you might have noticed already, but I have kind of changed the names a bit. I've taken off the last names of everyone so far. Just because it, it seems a bit cluttered to me, having a full name. So I'm just going to have a, have a first name and their nickname or code name or whatever you want to call it. I, I haven't changed any names, though. Like, I've kept them all the same for now but any future soldiers that I do get I will uh, rename them and give them my own, their own code name and whatever so we'll keep all these ones as they are for now because I'm kind of used to them now anyway and let's get that time going so we're waiting to heal up we're getting our stamina up and our health up and we are waiting on for some research and some armor getting made because we did get them soldiers in and that's uh, Artemis there uh, needs a full set of armor. This bandit gear is not the greatest in the world, and obviously our own uh, assault gear is actually better. So let's wait for that to get done while our soldiers get uh, healed up. This Ooh, is better. a transmission to the world. We are the pure, and our time hiding in the shadows is over. Squads of our chosen warriors are already combing the world in search of resources and technology that will help us defeat the Pandoran threat. A word of warning, don't get in our way. We will show no mercy. We will allow no bargaining. We are the cure! Don't threaten me with a good time, mate. Yeah? Tell you what, they're getting uh, too big for their britches and pure people. I don't like them. I don't like them very much. Oh, looks like uh, Joanna's got a level up here. Who's she in assault? So I'd give her a death. A good sort of colour scheme up as well. There we go. Right, there was something else as well I did. I can't forget what it was now. Uh, you're white, 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 white. There it is. Right, uh, what I did is I did level up some people, didn't I? Uh, I can't remember who leveled up. Oh, Sarah. Sarah, yeah, I got her the trooper stat there. Gives her an extra 10% proficiency. It gives her a proficiency with assault rifles, plus 10% damage and plus 20% accuracy, which is pretty amazing for an assault class. And I can't remember if there was someone else. There probably was, but I'm probably forgetting it already. Right, uh, so, just waiting for that final guy to get healed up. Looks like the leg gear is made. And are you ready? There we go, fully healed. So everyone's ready to go now. The only thing Artemis is missing is the full gear. I will wait for the full gear to get made, of course. 17 hours, Jesus. <laughs> it's gonna take ages. Right, uh, in the meantime then let's do some let's do something. Uh, we gotta go and we gotta search out all these question marks, let's do that. Here we go, the research. Triton Autopsy. Summary. Early versions of this mutation were identified on video streams in 2027 and seen in greater numbers during the second mist of 2040. The current specimens have evolved to the extent that they are intelligent enough to use human equipment. In addition to human-like arms, they have secondary appendages with varied and specialized functions. Other body parts also revealed extraordinary variants and adaptations. We are seeing increased numbers of these creatures, often deployed alongside Arthrons. Given the more land-based ad adaptation, we can infer that they are being gestated in land-based structures within the bounds of the new mist outbreak. So their genetic origins, 12% to have myotophysids, I'll butcher some of these words, you know this by now. 8% of other deep sea fish, 22% human, 
58% of it unknown. So function, suffi sufficient intelligence to use a variety of human weapons in sniper or assault roles, plus various stealth capabilities. Offensive mutations, good knife vision and perception. Primary arms, dexterous enough for using rifles or handguns. Secondary arms with close combat capability, paralyzing, piercing. Defensive mutations, mist emission, chameleon-like evasion in response to attack, rapid regeneration. Mobility, agile variant, has high jump capability. Weakness, the Triton's thick skin provides less protection than the Afron's chitin plating. So yeah, these are like the mobile troops of the, uh, the Pandoras. Alright, nearly broke my mouse, that was nice. Alright, yeah, these are like the mobile uh, troops, basically. Let's have a look, what is that there? Combat Shield Technology. Yeah, let's put that on the list. We'll need that eventually. So I need to destroy a Pandoran colony, it looks like there. Let's not do that yet, of course. We've got to keep exploring. Once we get this body armor made, I'll go for one of these missions. Behind the walls, exploration site. The Manticore 1 has landed in the remains of a gated community. Judging from the design, this place was built in the early days of the Second Mist. When the upper classes abandoned the cities, the place seemed to be in relatively good shape. If somewhat overgrown. Perhaps there are survivors. Investigate. The more our operatives investigate, the stranger the situation gets. It's not entirely clear, but evidence seems to suggest that the inhabitants of the gated community act actually killed each other following a dispute about an inheritance. The turrets meant to defend the compound's walls are turned towards the inside, and the lush gardens are full of shattered skeletons. The only thing really worth scavenging in is the VR entertainment system. Alright, so we got a lot of technology for that. Bit weird how they would all just turn on each other like that, but... Ooh, right, these, uh, these guys are under attack. Uh, I mean, I'd like to do that. I mean, that, that will be, give us some gear. Yeah, let's, you know what, let's do it. If I can get there in time, that'd be great. There we go, right, I've just got my armor made as well, perfect. So let's re-equip. There we go, Artemis ready to go. So let me just have a quick last check to make sure everyone's alright. Looks like everyone's got a set of ammo and a grenade and a med kit. Yep, looks like everyone's ready to go. The only thing I'm missing is a set of ammo for my sniper. Let's give him that. That is the right one, isn't it? No, that's independent. Oh, there we go. Snipe, Phoenix sniper rifle. Yeah, that's the one. Just so we've got enough bullets. I know I know what it's like to not have enough ammo. Looks like Kristen's leveled up as well, so let's give him some stuff. I'll give him the quick aim, so he should take one less action. That'll cost some willpower, of course. So let's give him... Oh, let's give him some health. Yeah, strength is health. Right, let's see if I can make this mission here. Yes, look at that. There's only one, the strength of it, only one left. So that's great. So we'll get like, we'll get a nice little boost of materials and whatnot here. For a nice simple mission. Should be an easy mission. The only thing is, though, this is going to be helping the Disciples of Anu, and they're going to start liking us. Which, I'm not, I mean, I don't mind helping out all the factions, of course. But uh, I'm, I'm assuming you've got to focus on one of them. And I want to focus on the new Jericho guy, because them guys have probably got the weapons. And I want the weapons, and probably the armour as well. But we'll just we'll we'll try and do it all. We are great enough to do them all, aren't we? Surely. I'll try and focus on New Jericho, but I'll try and help the other twos as well. Why not? We'll do all that, if possible. Right then, let's get started, shall we? Mandacore One, approaching target. 
Landing, Commander. All right, here we go. Right, so we're at the pretty much exploration, uh, the extraction point. This guy's right up on this uh, ledge there. That's not good. That is not good for us. All right, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Ready to roll. Right, let's just uh, let's move out. Spotted another one. Uh, they're all right next to me here. What the hell is that one? It's an half run. Right, let's let's move in. Come on in. Got another one. Where are you at? Because he's over there. Right. I'm not even you here. David, come on in, David. Let's try and take this guy out for me. Beautiful. That was a lot of damage. A lot of damage. He's actually going to die next turn because he's bleeding for 10. Beautiful. Right, what else I'm going to do then? I'm going to... I need to try and shoot that other guy, don't I? Uh, okay, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. How can I get... No. Ready. Can someone get over here? Yeah, Sarah, Be come right on there. in. Can you not see anyone? Damn it. Can't see anyone from there. Never mind. Uh, Elaine. I'm on the move. No. Have you seen another one? Where at? Where have you seen that one at? There's two of them on the roof over there. All right. Let's have a look then. I can only just about see that one. So I don't think it's going to be worth shooting. A sniper though. He might be able to get a good shot. Oof, it's risky, but I'm going to take it. I hit him. Don't think it was a major hit or anything. Yeah, I'm thinking about if I move my heavy over here. And I can use my war cry. So come on, Nicole. Is that not really not going to affect him? Do we need to get closer? Yeah, I thought it wasn't going to affect them there for some reason. Really weird. Right then. What to do? What have I got left? Artemis. Can you... just can't make it there. How about you go here? Right there. Can, have you got a shot for me, Artemis? You kind of do. That wasn't bad. Can I get that final hit in? Doesn't look like it. So. Let's just go on over watching, shall we? Because he's probably going to jump down at me. Let's take that risk. That is very risky shooting at my own guys there, like, but... No, uh, uh, don't risk it. Too risky. Hey, that guy's dead. This guy's left again. It's a good start. This guy's moving in, though. That's not good. Ah, oh. shot off on us. Yes, beautiful, David. Well done. Love a bit of a return fire. Oh. Looks like uh, that guy's shrouding that guy in mist. That's not very nice of you, is it? It's a big pile of mist. Jesus. Oh. Ah, damn it. Okay, so there's still, there's actually quite a few of them here still. Even though their strength was only at one, there's still quite a few of them. At least six. Maybe more. These guys need to start pulling their weight. Right, so. You took a bit of damage there, didn't you, mate? Uh, right, let's try another war cry. So I am going to try and just blast this guy. Beautiful. 
Right, so there's still a guy around the corner. And there's still them guys over there. It's uh, Elaine, go this way for me. You see anyone? Doesn't look like it. Let's show them what we can do. Right, so let's get Simon up on the roof. Come on, Simon, take a sniper spot. Right, you can see that guy, so let's try and take him out for me. Might as well try and cause at least some damage. Yep, come on, try again for me. Alright, well, you shot the fence. That was nice of you. Looks like Artemis can get a shot in, so let's try that. Good shooting, good shooting. It's got that pain chameleon ability though, so it has done a runner. Right, you get behind that full cover then, Artemis. Right, Sarah. You can actually see that guy, Sarah. Yes, this guy's a pain chameleon as well. Come on in, let's try that. Lovely. Plenty of damage, to I like. Who's next? David. Can you get anywhere fun there, David? No. Doesn't look like it. Just go there. Right, who's got who's got overwatches? Right, let's get some overwatches on. Let's not get risky. Can't remember if I saw someone over there or over there. Hey, you look that way, David. Right, you Sarah, you go that way. Yeah, keep an eye on that guy for me. I uh, want Simon to watch that corridor for that other guy. There we go, right then. Come on in, lads. Start sorting it out now. Come on. Boom. Beautiful. Looks like that guy's running away. What are you doing here? <laughs> Alright, that one went miles out of the way, Jesus. Still shooting at him. Good job that's not one of our guys, Jesus. Right, uh, Elaine, can you get over there to help him out? Go on. Can you see him? You can. But you can't shoot him for some reason. Move in a bit more then. Come on in, sweetheart. Lovely job there. Good girl. Right, so there's got guys over there still. So that's fun. Tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna use a war cry again. Keep this guy under wraps. Come on, move in. Come on, war cry him. That guy's definitely not going to be able to do much for another turn. Right. Uh, see, I'm not sure if that's the only guy that's left. No, Chris Warner was another thing. Let's move up. Let's just keep moving. There's some civilians there. Right, Artemis, can you want, do you want to chase this guy down for me? Sarah, you go with David. Tell me what you find, guys. Nothing. Okay, ducks. Now, just in case he pops his head out, we're going to sniper overwatch this time. They're not getting past me. I should hope not. Yeah, I think this guy over here is the last one, actually. <laughs> I thought he was actually going to get him there. What the 
hell was that? Chanting. Where are you going? Where are you going? We know you're there. Who can see you? No one? God damn it. Let's do this. Right, it's, I haven't got enough to do another walk ride right either. Uh, I'm thinking there's a way I can have blow the roof out. I'm prepared. See, I, I don't even know if that'll even work, but I'm going to try it. See if I can shoot the roof out. No. Well, that was pointless. <laughs> right, uh, oof. Can you really not see him, David? Damn it. Well, you can from there. Advancing. Go on, David. Go, 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 go. I've got line of sight, Commander. Scratches. I've got some scratches in, Commander, but he's still alive. Right, uh, let's take control of one of these guys. I'm on the move. Receiving. And can I get him up there? Go on, just charge up. Do you see him? No. Alright, so all I can do then is just uh, get over there and get some overwatches on. Definitely want Simon on Overwatch. I'm on Overwatch. I can't get on Overwatch there, can I? Right then, let's end the turn then. See if these guys can find it. Oh, cool. Yeah, oh, cheers, mate. Oh, thank you. He's a make it on me. I like it when the uh, when the AI helps me out. Oh, hello. Ow. That wasn't very nice of you. Why would you shoot David and not, like, that guy right there? Stop that. <laughs> okay. Ow. Ow. Right, well, that's not very nice, is it? Because I'm going to have to heal now. I didn't want to have to heal. Right, come on in. Finish him off, David. Come on. Put him out of his middle. Beautiful. There we go. Nice, easy mission then. Like I saw. Like I thought it would be. So we got a level up from, from the call. That's alright. At least someone's getting the experience that we need. I've successfully defeated all the hostile forces. So we've got 30 tech, 262 production, and 188 food. Lovely. Analysis of the Pandora movement have failed to identify their origins. So we don't know where they came from either. Let's restock all the gear. I'm assuming they just came from there anyway. Seems to be the spot. Uh, let's get back home though. We're a little wounded and whatnot. Let's level up Nicole. Wow, we've got 84 points. Lovely Nicole, let's get you leveled up a bit. Some strength, some will, some speed. More strength, more will, and more speed. There we go. That's a good level up for Nicole. There, she got lots of stats. Right, let's have a look at some. Can we make another Manta car? We can. Right, I'm going to make another Manta car, even though it's going to take 10 days. I don't need to make anything else right now, so let's make me another Manticore. I want to start up another base soon as well. Yeah, I definitely want to start up another base soon. So I'll consider that soon as well. 
In the meantime, let's get everyone healed up. There we go, everyone fully healed. So here we go, summary. Haven reports and scientific observations. Here we go. So the Afron tri uh, Tyrant mutation Afron evolved to counter flash attacks. It's got a chitin, carapace, a shield, and a machine gun implanted in it. arm. <laughs> so, all right, yeah, there we go. Look, it's got a machine gun there. <sighs> Look, at return fire as well. It's not good. Well, here we go, the Triton Fug. Looks like he's got a shotgun. Let me confirm that, yeah, use of human shotguns. These guys have got shotguns now. And the Triton Maniac. The hell has he got there? New Jericho Gauss Rifles. Yeah, I want one of them. Enhanced Perceptions as well. Yeah, New Jericho Gauss Rifle. Gauss Assault Rifle. Yeah, they're pretty good, them. I want one. I want one. I want one of them guns. Right, in the meantime, though, we've got to keep searching. Come on, then. Let's get some exploration going. Symes and Portents. Fort Valkyrie. Fort Valkyrie is home to Dr. Roman P. Jacobi. Leader of the New Jericho Tax Taxonomy Project. In addition to being a brilliant scientist, Dr. Jacobi also claims to have invented the term Pandoran as a describer for the creatures that threaten our world. Before that, people just call them monsters or mutants or even aliens, he says. But that's really rather missing the point, isn't it? Anyway, Dr. Jacob continues. That's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Actually, I want to make you an offer. You see, I have something. A book. But not just any book. A notebook. Written by Randolph Symes, one of the founders of the Phoenix Project. A great man. Ahead of his time. I'm sure it will be invaluable to you, and I'm willing to trade for it. Alright, so he wants 20 tech for this book. Steal a book? No, I don't want to steal a book. Let's uh, let's give him twenty tech. I'm nice like that. The notebook appears to be authentic, although the notes are written in a what the idiosyncratic, idiosyncratic shorthand Sam's had developed for his personal diaries. Still, his unique perspective on this on the history and early findings of the Phoenix Project is always illuminating. That's because a hundred research, so that'll boost our research up a little bit. Yeah, we're just going to take a while for that all happens, like. Uh, let's just keep moving on. Uh, can I explore that? Explore, thank you. There you go. So it's another new Jericho home there. And let's explore this one. Have a new Jericho home. All right, so we're not doing too bad there. I would like to get another base up. I really would like that. I mean, I could start down here. That would be great, I guess. Let's uh, get my guys on the bottom there. Sinedrian Haven. Hang on, let's have a look at this. New recruits: Nathan, Starlight Brex, a heavy guy. So he's not bad, but he's not great either. Let's have a look at this. Oh, right there. Literally right there. All right, yeah, let's do it. Got threat level extreme. Nighttime, the pure. So the pure are attacking at the Sanedrian base. So that cannot be good. Let's, let's move in. We're going to have to do it. I don't like the pure that much. To not fight them back. So this one could be an interesting, uh, uh, an interesting encounter. Because the pure 
if I remember rightly, a heavily armoured. Let's have a look. Yeah, look at that. 45, 30, 45, 40, 40, 40. God, these guys are armoured right up. Jesus. It's the one thing that these uh, people have got for them. Is that they are super armoured up. God damn, man. Those guys are tough. Those guys are tough, man. There's one on each side. Right, so they're after the key structures as well. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to save it here. And it's a uh, battle save. Uh, what time is it? Yeah, battle save. Right, I'm going to save it here. And we're going to pick it up in the next one. Because yeah, I can see this one's going to be a bit of a tactical mission, this one. I'm going to have to like be careful on this one. I have to like whittle down their armour very slowly. But thank you very much for joining us, ladies and gents. Thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Join us again in the next one, where we'll continue to fight off the Pandoran threat. But in the meantime, please take care of yourself.